Hello YouTube, Fuzz here, welcome back to Nino Cooney 2, Revenant Kingdom, and welcome as well to a brand new chapter, chapter 5. With a brand new chapter comes brand new side quests, and that's what we're going to be starting with today. I actually only need one more city to join us, and then we can upgrade our kingdom to level 2. And I can finally upgrade my coffers, so I haven't got to keep going back every 10 minutes to empty them out. So we're going to start off in Goldpaw, and there's so much to do in Goldpaw, isn't there? Uh, including a whole bunch now of new side quests that have become available, as you can see on the map there. We'll start at the beginning, right at the entrance of town, with an NPC known as Longmane. And Longmane is quite a feisty individual, and has, uh, you know, a side quest that leads more on the in-depth side of things, rather than on the just quick hand an item in and it's done uh, type malarkey. So we are going to have to do a few bits in order to get this side quest completed. But I'm going to guide you through the process and hopefully you won't have many issues with this. What I will point out, and a little bit of a spoiler alert, but for the purposes of the guide, you might want to know this getting started. This does culminate this particular side quest with a skirmish. And it's a level 10 skirmish. So if you need to go and grind out your forces, you might wish to do so before picking up this quest. So, I haven't tried it myself yet, but hopefully it won't be too difficult. But I do just want to mention that it is level 10 before we get into this. But anyway, that's towards the end. To start with, we're going to have to go around town and chase this sucker down. So, a quick thing to do is just to click the gold poor map again and just teleport to the closest objective markers or the places that are closest to the objective markers and obviously that's just going to speed things up a little bit otherwise you're going to be backtracking forwards and backwards so just around here there is Long Main And we're just going to have to repeat this process one or two more times in order to advance the quest further. So once again, we're just going to teleport to the, the closest marker that's, you know, closest to the objective. In this case, the casino. And we do have to make a couple of choices, I think, on this one. Oh no, it's not this one. So this time we actually go inside. And we'll find Long Main just kind of chilling towards the back here ready to engage in more conversation, of course. Righty ho. So once again we're teleporting, this time to Fortune Square, right up the top of the map here, where the king likes to hang out. Or well, is he still a king? Now that his kingmaker has been stolen. I guess we just call him the ruler now, don't we? And we can see the objective is right up by that door at the top of the map. And we have quite a bit of a long conversation here. So we're going to choose your causing a scene. Now eventually we are going to choose the top option which is to come to Evermore. And that's going to go ahead and advance the quest for us. Although unfortunately Longmane's not going to join us at this very moment. That will come at the end of the quest. I think we're just repeating text now, aren't we? Okay, so now we'll select come to Evermore. Excuse me. <laughs> what? Ah. Oh. Gosh. 
باش Right, so now we're going to get into the final part of the quest itself. And as you can see, this is the skirmish. So what we'll do is head to the world map. So just select gold pool once more and then select world map. This, in my uh, experience, is the fastest way to get to this particular quest. And it's located just over there. You can see in the distance, yeah. So we'll run there. Now, I said it's a level 10 quest, and of course it is. But that said, you can go ahead and if you want to spend some King's Guilders, upgrade your forces, which may or may not help you out. So just something worth noting. Let's go ahead and start it. In order to do that, when you access the screen here, select Bolster Forces. And then you can go through various upgrades in order to just help you out a little bit in battle. But as you can see, they all cost a bit of dosh, a bit of King's Guilders. I would select Hard Mode, since that will boost the recommended level so I think about 20 something so only do that obviously if you're doing this side quest a lot later on and you want to increase the rewards from it and you're able to take on uh, those particular enemies uh, but I guess we can go for I don't know maybe a might boost and you can turn these on and off by the way so you don't have to spend your money if you want to turn it off again so hard mode Okay, we can't select hard mode for this skirmish. It is greyed out, in fact. Because it's a story skirmish. Oh, I'm just going to spend 2,000, I think. Uh, I'll go this as well. I do like the slow uh, Mike Gorge. And we are level 8, so we're a couple of levels under. Hence the reason why I did bolster those forces there. And do I have a level... 10. Uh, no, I don't. I do have a few, actually. I didn't realise I'd gained so many of these guys, but I don't have a level 10. Right, let's get started. So, this is an interesting one, actually, because instead of killing opposing units as I normally would, we're actually killing enemies, as in monsters here. Which, again, is not something I've done a whole lot of in skirmishes. So, it has been a little bit different. But maybe that'll change going forward now. We can grab some uh, big military might there. And it looks like we're having to turn around at this point and head back. Looks like we've got the final boss at the end here. And this is going to be a good opportunity to use uh, Evan's special tactic or whatever it's called. So we'll see what happens here. We've still got quite a bit of military might, but nowhere near as much as the enemy's got. Ready? It's now so I've used Evans. And we are actually leveling up quite nicely with this particular skirmish as well, which is a bonus, isn't it? So I just have to keep using our might here. I can see why you need to be level 10 dearly for this one. Since we are taking a lot of damage. And we do need to make use of some of these other tactics as well. But we've also got help from the battlefield. So this is getting a little bit hit and miss here. We're now out of military might. And the enemy's still got a whole ton. Whereas we've got hardly anything left. So I think the trick is to try and take these guys on a little bit slower than we had been. But we've got some military might back now, so let's go ahead and use it to recover some units here. And try and just pull them back one at a time, if we can help it. Is that guy still not dead? Right, he is now. And again, we get some military might. So, this is actually a good little strategy. I've never really used tactics in this sense on uh, these skirmishes before. But as you can see, we can kind of bring enemies out one at a time. Might gauge refilled a lot. I didn't get to see that. 
Okay, it looks like we can head over here next. Oh, that's what we need. Let's go ahead and do this, can we? No, we can't do that, so we just need to kill this guy, I think. He's almost down. I'll tell you what, there was some touch or go moments there. I thought we might have failed at one point. The trick is, guys, a little strategy for you. Don't just go charging in at the end. Try and bring those enemies to you one or two at a time, at most. And then as you replenish your might, go ahead and heal up and bring your units back into the battle before going to face off against the rest. At the start of that end battle there, I literally charged in, had everything attacking us. And obviously that wasn't a good idea in the end at all. Uh, but the good news is, not only do we get our rewards for the side quest when we hand this in in a moment's time, uh, but I actually gained quite a few levels as well uh, in the actual skirmishes for our units. So that was pretty good indeed. Anyway, let's head back to Goldpaw now. We'll go and see if Longmane's got anything to say for himself about coming to our kingdom now. And I'm sure he will. I'm sure he's seen the light at this point. And he's located in the same place as when we left him. He moved around earlier, but now he's just staying still. And there we have it, Long Mane recruited. And he's also a new unit as well, which is always good, isn't it, to get new units to choose from. So let's head back to Go uh, Evermore now, see if I can level up. Right, so just to finish off today's episode then, guys, let's level up, shall we? Manage your kingdom, and we're going to select Evermore Castle. We've got the 25 or more city sons recruited, and the 10 or more facilities built. I've got exactly 25 citizens, in fact. So let's go ahead and level up. It's going to cost 5,000 Kingdom Guilders. Uh, King's Guilders even, but also give us 150,000 influence. I've already got 40,000 plus King's Guilders, so that's not a big problem. And here we go. So levelling up your kingdom is great for many reasons. Not only can you store more money, you can store more materials, uh, but also you get new upgrades become available for all your other buildings and new plots of land as well. So you want to do it as often as you can really. You can level up to level 4 in total. And the sooner you can do it, the better. But anyway guys, I'll have a play about with my new kingdom now. So thanks for stopping by and joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And come back again soon for more Nino Kuni 2. See you then.